Chairman, thank you. Vice Chairman Lansberg, thank you very much for your questions, and we'll now proceed to Member, member Hamadi. Thank you very much. Um, I have a cell phone, which when there is a thunderstorm watch or a thunderstorm warning, I get a little bit of a notification, uh, an alert on the cell phone, which, which informs me of a uh, coming thunderstorm, whether it's a watch or a warning, and it continues to uh, inform me as that approaches. Um, and I think we take for granted uh, what the difference is between a severe thunderstorm watch and a severe thunderstorm warning. And I appreciate staff's presentation, which included really the technical definition by the National Weather Service. But when I was looking at NOAA's website, it talked about for the public that a watch is when conditions are favorable for severe thunderstorms and that persons in these areas should be on the lookout for threatening weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. That's a watch. The warning, that watch came at 11.20 a.m., correct? Correct. The warning, which came much later, uh, about seven hours later at 6.32 p.m., a warning is when severe thunderstorms are occurring or imminent, which I believe you talked about in your presentation. And uh, according to the National Weather Service, people in that affected area should seek safe shelter immediately. So you have a severe thunderstorm watch that was issued at 1120 until 9 p.m. And then over the course of the next seven hours, the National Weather Service continued to issue updates uh, for the incoming weather. And then uh, Ride the Ducks had a computer weather monitoring program through Earth Networks, which I is called Streamer RT, which I'm sure we'll get into at some point. But in addition to that computer weather program, they were getting regular emails from Earth Networks throughout the day about this weather coming in, including the severe thunderstorm warning, which, it, which, which they got that email at 6.32 p.m., correct? The same time the National Weather Service issued theirs. We understand and we know the emails were sent, but because we were not able to interview certain key players, we don't know if they were received or open. So, but yes, you're correct. They were sent. Okay. So, uh, and I'm going to get, I, I'll, I'll come back later in other rounds to ask about that. But the, so the warning was issued at, so dur during the time of the watch, 34 Ride the Duck boats tours were completed. Uh, I don't include the 35th because that was replaced by another vessel at some point. So then four boats, if you could bring up slide 35 really quick, four vessels leave after the 6.32 p.m. warning was issued. So uh, duck uh, 27 enters the lake at 6.45, 13 minutes after the warning. 17, 6.47, 15 minutes later after the warning. 54 at 6.53, they enter the lake at 21 minutes after the warning. And Stretch Duck 7, which was involved, which sank, enters the lake at 6.55, 23 minutes later. Are there radios on the vessel that allow the duck dock to call the captain? And was 13 to 23 minutes enough time for management to have called the vessels and told them not to go on the water? Thank you, Member Homerty. Our Nautical Operations Group Chairman, Marcel Mews, will respond to that question. Uh, thank you, Member Homerty. Uh, and yes, all the boats were equipped with a VHF radio uh, the company also had a repeater system where they could talk to each duck boat. So that, that capability to communicate uh, with the boats was available to them. And that time frame of 13 to 23 minutes, I mean, we're talking the duck dock, they, they left the duck dock, which is not on the side of the lake, so it, which is six miles uh, away from the length. 
the lake. That's enough time to where the duck dock could have called. Yes, that's correct. Okay, and then really quickly, how long were the water tours typically? And was that taken account that time frame on the water when they assess the risks of operating uh, during uh, uh, the storm warning? The typical water tour would take 15 minutes. Um, because the manager on duty sent Duck 7 to the lake first, uh, our, our understanding was that they believed they had time to enter the water and get off um, before the storm arrived. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, my time's up and I'll, I'll hold the rest for additional uh, rounds. Thank you very much, Member Holmody. And